Miss Rachel. Thank you. It's been fun. It's okay. <laughs> That's good. So um, we're just going to ask you for questions, obviously, just to get your answers for yeah. um, So how do you enjoy writing the genre that you write? Sorry, do you write more contemporary? Um, I mostly write rural romance, I suppose. Yeah. Um, but yeah, done lots of contemporary novellas that are not strictly rural. Cowboys, yeah. biker. <laughs> um, and I love written women's fiction sort of more now, which explores relationships, not necessarily romance yeah. relationships. But I love writing, I guess I love writing about your relationship, whether it's between the hero and heroine yeah. or sisters. You know, I just love the emotional journey of these characters and stuff. So that's what I sort of um, enjoy most. Okay. Um, do you plot or you just go with the flow? I wish I plotted. <laughs> I would like, the, I love the idea of it, yeah. but mostly I'm a go with the flow author. I just had to write a synopsis before, you know, for a book that I've got to write. Yeah. And I have no idea what to put in it. I get really anxious about that because I sort of just know the characters and maybe the basic you know, premise of the book. And I'd like to know maybe what's going to happen at the end, but how I get there usually just sort of unfolds. I hope for the best. <laughs> so do your characters talk to you? Uh, I wouldn't say, yeah, I wouldn't say that I find them talking to me. I'll like, oh, we'll go walking the dog and suddenly a line from you know, someone <laughs> character will come in. But I wouldn't exactly say, I don't feel like they talk. Me. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, what authors do you either read or you admire? Of course, Helene Young. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. oh, yes, I do. But um, I, my favourite authors are probably, um, you know, total fan girl over Leanne Moriarty. Um, I like Kristen Higgins. Yeah, that's that's a name. Oh, and <laughs> um, so yeah, I'd say my absolute idol and author is Leanne Moriarty. Um, Maria. Um, the Husband's Secret and Big Little Lies. I just really like her. Um, she comes up with amazing premises and the characters are amazing and just real, real to life. Yeah. Okay, um, what do you like or what is your favourite thing about being a romance author? I'm getting to work in my pyjamas and actually in the house, not having to talk to people. No. I, um, yeah, all of the above. Uh, I, I just, I'm really, it's, it's not always easy. Like, I've had a lot of lows lately as well as the highs. Um, and, but the highs are really good. Um, getting to, talk to you know readers who yeah. read your book and love the characters maybe more than yeah. you do. Um, I, I just love the whole world um, of of being an author and the you know the community. Yeah. Um, but yeah just being I, practically being able to work from home when I've got a young family, mm -hmm. things like that, I mean that's really useful. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you remember the first romance book you read or first novel that you read? Um, well I didn't actually read a lot of romance when I was Younger, but I think the the, write, the books that really changed me and made me think, oh, hang on, I like reading and I want to write was Bridget Jones' Diary. Okay. But then actually, it was my first category romance book, which got me sort of into the real. When I first did this, I wanted to write romance as opposed to general sort of chicken oh, women's fiction. Was um, Barbara so Henay's Barbara um, category sweet yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, what kind of things did you like when you were actually a child? Would you like to read when you were playing? Okay, I didn't read loads, but I read The Babysitter's Club. All yeah. the Babysitter's Clubs in year seven, yeah, six, seven. Um, that was, and my mum used to read the far, you know, the Faraway Tree, even okay. light and all that kind of stuff. But I have to say, The Babysitter's Club were <laughs> my, you know, drugs. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what advice do you plan on doing in next? Oh, that one's um, This, immediately next, I'm writing my second special edition for Harlequin. Um, mm which is in my new series called McKinnells of Jewel Rocks and the Whiskey Distillery. Oh, oh, and then I just hope to keep on writing some rural romances and mix it up a bit. Okay. Um, did you enjoy the high tea today? I had a fabulous time. It was so great just talking to you know, other people who understand the characters and read it. They love books as much as you do. Yeah. Okay. Um, did you like the like, intimate feel? I, I do like, um, because you can sort of really, I think, talk to someone a, it's not loud noise, it's going, you know, but you can really get to know, like I feel that I know those people on the table now quite yeah. well, you know, um, whereas some of them I met on Facebook through yeah. reader groups or online before, but so it's nice just to really be able to chat um, properly. Yeah. Okay. Um, and how do you feel like how you're part of being ARA? I love ARA, I always <laughs> talk about, I mean, um, you know, I think it's a great organisation, but only is it $20 or something yeah. a year, you know, it's such a enthusiastic, fabulous organisation. I think so many more people, I always talk about it at events and stuff, because, um, you know, all of, or everyone who loves reading, 
the Peter Bromance should definitely be a member. It's a really great place to be. Thank you very much for your time today, Rachel. Thank you, Diane. <laughs>